California, Los Angeles, folks. We're alive and alive, and I hope all the boys, all the girls, and all the MBs are having a fantastic one because today is a beautiful day here in sunny California, Los Angeles. It's 83 degrees out here, and I'm having a great one uh, so far. Dude's 24 hours late. Yeah, I am 24 hours late. These are not glasses that are new. These are very old glasses, as a matter of fact. I've, been, I've had these for many, many years. Um, anyway. I'm live and alive. And, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't. I took a day off yesterday. That's right. I did that. I did that shit. And honestly, I'm, I'm proud of it. Uh, I'm proud of it. I, I feel great. I'm glad that I did that. Took a whole ass day off. And normally when I take a whole ass day off, like I, I usually have some other stuff going on with friends. Didn't even, didn't even play basketball. Didn't even set up anything with friends. I was like, this is a day I will shoot the podcast. Unfortunately, Will could not make it because he was filming. Okay, I will shoot the podcast with Ludwig and Austin. Austin is the co-host. And then after that, I'm just going to not do anything. And that's literally what I did. Nothing. I sat around. I didn't read. I didn't write. I didn't even post on Instagram or, or Twitter all that much, really. That's how you really know I took a fucking day off. You know what I mean? Because like normally when I take a day off, I want to fucking post. I'll be I'll usually be posting. Leaking Lud's earnings on the Mr. Beast with vid, yeah. A lot. And the new Fear End episode will be out soon for the record. Um, in any case, midlife crisis confirmed. Oh no, that's sad. Anyway, in any case, folks, I took a full fucking day off and I'm, I'll tell you exactly, uh, how I feel about that. Um, I feel great and I'll tell you what I did. I went and I got ice cream. I had a I had a homie be like, hey, can I come over with this girl and use your pool? And I was like, yeah, do it. Come through. So we came over with this girl and they went in the pool and I went in with them because I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in the pool. I'm not doing anything. Uh, after that, we went to a store called Kith. Like how Mike Tyson says Kiss. I don't know if you guys know that. And like, originally my friend was like, bro, let's go there. Dude, Cause they have ice cream there too. They have like something called Kith treats. Yeah. And for me, like when I, when I heard ice cream, I was like, you know what? Holy shit. Chat's so cringe. Yeah, I know. I mean, I wasn't around for one day, so chat's going to be really fucking annoying today, I think. It's going to be, like, the most parasocial. But yeah, Kith, Kith, Kith is, like, a super hype beast area, super hype beast fucking um, shop, basically. And they sell, like, a bunch of overpriced uh, streetwear, right? Anyway, regardless... Regardless, I missed the 2019 chat. Man, the 2019 chat's still in here, as we found out. They've just gotten more annoying, probably like you. Twenty nine. The fun. The funny thing about this community is that, like, the 2019 chat is like literally still in here. And they've become like the most uh, annoying people, the most unapproachable people in the chat. And they're completely oblivious to it. 
but also on top of that their behavior is probably like also uh encouraging all the other newcomers to behave in that same exact way and then they complain about themselves all the time that was great when you were checking chatter some old videos and they were all still here yeah no that was awesome I've gotten less annoying. I'm just numb to this content. Anyway, regardless. So this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, right? So I went to Kith and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to buy something. And I need like new pants because I gained a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight. Um, and I haven't really like bought new clothes since 2019. And like I'm definitely in a, a, a significantly different income bracket. And I love clothes. You know that already. So I was like, let me just like get one thing that's like, uh, you know, bougie. But of course, the problem for with, with bougie clothes. Right is that they're not made for motherfuckers that are built like me. All of those like hype beast fuck boys, all of those like TikTok kids, they're all like, you know, they're all built like a, like a coat hanger. You know what I mean? So skinny. They're all twinks. So unfortunately there wasn't really a lot of options for a big beefy boy like me, but I went. And I tried on this outfit. I think it's like Maharashi or something. Anyway, it, it's weird though. Because it's like a Vietnamese, it's a Vietnamese store, right? Maharishi Camo. Camo. So it's a Vietnamese store. And at first I was like, damn, they got some cool ass shit. Like, wow, they're pretty chill. They're pretty chill. And then I looked into their background and I was like, oh my God, these guys are like pro-America. No, they're like, they're literally like, a, they're Vietnamese, but they're like pro-US military involvement in Vietnam, Vietnamese. But anyway, I didn't know about that. But while I was like looking up these pants, I'm there with a homie and he's like, bro, you should get these pants. They're pretty sick. I'm like, all right, let's take a look. I'm going to show you the pants real quick. Okay. Let's see if I can find them. So they had these like tactical pants. They weren't loose. Okay. But the problem is that the tactical pants had tassels on them. You know what I'm talking about? I wonder if I can find them. They, they, they were, they had these like cargo pants, right? They were kind of cool, but they had fucking tassels on them. Like two tassels coming out of the side of the of the legs. And I thought to myself, like, what the fuck? Why? Wh like, what are these for? You know what I mean? Who the fuck would do that? What is this for? What, what, what kind of tactical uh, reasoning is it? And he's like, oh, they're just like that. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it's literally for fashion. It's for nothing else. Okay. So... I put these fucking pants on. I can't even find them now, but it was like this, but with tassels. Okay. Like imagine it has like two little tassels on here. So I put the pants on. It doesn't fit. Obviously I'm like, fuck. If it was at the bottom hermit, so you can customize to fit the cuff. No, 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 no. It wasn't at the bottom. Anyway, I love when people say, why is LA fashion like this dog? This isn't just LA fashion. You're just describing fashion fashion. Okay. This is all that it is. And it's dumb as fuck. I get it. Anyway, just shut the fuck up and listen to the fucking story. Jesus Christ. I get this goddamn fuck these pants. I cuz like I'm really I'm really a big boy, okay? So I'm asking this dude, his name is Ian. I'm like, "Bro, Ian, like I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm I'm like a 38, but I feel as though here I might not be a 38. I might be a little bit bigger than that." And he's like, "Well, this is an XL. Like I got you." I put this fucking thing on and it's way too short. I take it off. And as I'm taking it off, I hear, I hear a rip and I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah. Guess what, dude? 
One of the tassels came off, okay? Immediately, I shove it into the pocket. Immediately, I shove it into the fucking pocket of it. I was like, it's out of my hands. Okay? I was like, hey, man, these are really, these are really small. <laughs> I said, yo, these are really small, which they were, which they were. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. I was like, they these are too small. They didn't fit. And then I and and then I ended up buying uh this other stuff anyway cuz I felt bad too. Like I just like I felt I, I felt I don't know if you guys feel the same way when you were like if you ever make someone like in the service industry busy, like you have to you have to give them something. You know what I mean? Like that, that, at least that's just for me. Like that's why when I go to a restaurant, if I I don't drink alcohol usually, except I did drink one night this weekend. But if I if I don't drink alcohol, if I'm just drinking, if I'm just fucking slamming diet cokes, like I'm leaving a, a gigantic tip because like you're making that travel time. You know what I mean? And your assumption is like it, during that if our if we're looking at it analytically, like if you're doing that travel time back and forth over and over and over again. Like the expectation is if I was slamming fucking drinks, those those are like $13, $14 a pop, $20 a pop, depending on what the fuck you're drinking. Right. So like, I have to factor that in. So I tip like I'm, I, I just had, you know, 11 vodka sodas or whatever, instead of the, just the 11 diet Cokes that I drank. And it's like, you can't go to a nice restaurant and be like, here, just give me the bottle of Coke. Okay. I, I just want. They probably think it's impressive though. <laughs> anyway, so I felt the exact same. I feel the exact same urge when I go to like a, like a store that gives you clothes, especially cause like I'm very hard to, to shop for. I'm very hard to shop with as you guys already know. So I bought these, uh, I bought these fucking pants. Oh my God. No, 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 no. These, these do have the tassels though, but it's not these. No here. Thank you for this chatter. Uh, they do have the weird fucking tassels on them, but it wasn't that. It wasn't these pants, even though these pants are sick. Yeah, so I ended up buying the the fucking uh, Kith like, uh, what is it? The the duo, like the top and bottom. I'm wearing the shorts right now. Actually, I'll show you in a second. Where the fuck is it? like one of the fucking new arrivals maybe i don't know it has a mountain on it It has like a japanese mountain side on the top and bottom that's the one i got i could just show it to you right now but i don't know why i'm like literally going to their website <clears throat> to show it off their website didn't know kiss still existed Bro, it's the wackest shit. I'm gonna be honest. It is the wackest fucking shit. Okay. Um, even they they literally sell like. Like it is such it it's su their website is all of kid, not just the LA store. Anyway, it it's such like fuckboy shit that like it, it they sell Kith branded like you know, hand cream and shit. You know what I mean? 38 is kind of small for someone your height, right? Wait, 38 ways? No. The Maharishi designer is British and anti-war, but loves camo. Couldn't find the Vietnam mentions. He said that the name Maha unironically comes from the Vietnamese garment, uh, luxury garment providers that worked alongside the U.S. Uh, forces in the Vietnam War to build the U.S. forces, uh, you know, civilian wear and shit. I'm 38, I'm 6'7", your fine is on? No, 38 is, is big. <laughs> this guy says, woof, 38. Most dudes are 32 to 34. Yeah, when I was at my, um, when I was at my skinniest, I was 34. Um, but 
Right now, I'm I'm definitely 38. Maharishi means great saint in Sanskrit. I'm just saying that's what they fucking said. That holy shit, dude! I know, I know that Maharishi is also uh, Indian. Okay, I know, I know that. Yikes! I know. Okay, here I'll just fucking show you. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Don't know why we're having this conversation. Don't know why everything turns into a fucking debate. Okay, I don't know why, but it has to happen, I guess. So if it has to happen here, like I'll, I'll, I'll just dive a little bit deeper so you fucking understand it, okay? Understand where I'm coming from. Maybe I misunderstood something about the designer and his background. I haven't looked into their interviews, but the way that they're presenting themselves, uh, especially in the about section of certain uh, things that they're selling, made it feel like they were, you know, how do I describe it? Not exactly anti-war. Nice headband and rug, my guy. You're welcome. Why can't I find it? They had an Associated Press jacket, okay? And I clicked on it because I'm like, that's kind of cool. They had like an Associated Press Vietnam jacket. Like as though they said that this one was for the, uh, the Associated Press, like journals that got lost in the war. Not that it matters. Like if something fucking looks cool, like you don't have to care about like the political underpinnings, right? I just thought it was fascinating. That's why I brought it up. Wait, why can't I find it now? What the fuck? Oh, here it is. Thank you, Prayden. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. The Associated Press Jungle Jacket. Wash cotton poplin. Okay. Well, it's fucking savings are out of control. Um, jacket's kind of cool. I was going to buy it. And then I looked at the description of it. Um, wait, why can't I see the rest of the description? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, here it is. Here. Look. Stone embroidered name tape, vintage stone wash. A reproduction news reporter jungle shirt features woven patches and name tapes made from lightweight cotton poplin. Shirt is the imagined uniform of a missing photojournalist. Often these unique press uniforms customized with the patches of the units they join on the front line are some of the most rare and sought after by collectors. 1960s era U.S. Army cotton poplin re... Wait, did they delete this? Oh, here it is. Maha Tailor Shop. Originally a standalone tailor shop, trade boom when the U.S. Navy accepted the invitation to advise in the Vietnam War. And the Maharishi Fine Tailor Company emerged, providing modifications and customization for U.S. soldiers and the uniforms of the civilian irregular defense group. I've never heard someone describe America's invasion and war crimes of Vietnam as advice. Even the most, like, rugged pro-military hawks in the United States of America would not describe it that way. That was like, if we're in the fucking 50s and, and, and leading up to the Vietnam War in the 60s, like then maybe, okay? Because that was the original purpose as to why they were there, training and advice. And then, you know, some of them got their shit some of them got their shit blown up. You know what I mean? 